Hello guys, welcome back to Chat and Chisel. Today we'll be going over Germany, the stereotypes versus the reality. And I, I there we are. <laughs> <laughs> Stereo cars. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I just found them the whole thing. <laughs> right, let me let me do do it again. And coming up the rear. No. <laughs> <laughs> My other half lives in Germany, so uh, I've had a couple of opportunities to go to Germany and see what it's like for myself. So I've got a few opinions, um, and it's very interesting seeing... Oh no, British man with um, opinions. Dangerous. Yes, you are You are in danger. <laughs> Let's start with the, the big one, German engineering. They have this massive stereotype of German engineering being the best thing in the world. It's and not. let me tell you, it's the biggest bloody lie going. Can confirm absolute <laughs> biggest lie going so bmw not only do they not have any working indicators literally from factory <laughs> <laughs> but uh most of them look more like this <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> i literally went online looked at bmw problems and this came up uh, I like the meme. <laughs> I like the meme bit about the check engine. Yep, it's still the little there. light. <laughs> and I had a fan of t-shirt thing. Yeah, like it's the little light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> German cars, they just don't survive our roads, do they? Um, the wiring okay. always dies on them, and it's so bad. It, it's just all the sensors. Um, I've got a story of um my friend's brother. He had a BMW. And basically, there was not a single time that he owned it where a single sensor had not failed. He would fix one, and within a week, a different one has failed. It's a bit like your bike, isn't it? The other thing that Germans have is they over-engineer everything to the end of the fucking world. For me, German German trucks as well, they're fucking awful. Everything just falls apart. There's this flap on the door, right? Yeah. Uh, it's just held on by it's this flat, tiny right? little bit of plastic. And if you open the door too much, then it breaks. And you've got to replace it. And if you look at trucks going down the motorway, you'll see a lot of the Mercedes, they've got that panel missing or it's being replaced with like a different panel because they keep breaking. It's terrible. It's just an easy way to make money. Though. So in summary, German engineering, it's the best in the world. No, it isn't. No. <laughs> no, it's not. Next. They've got more. They've got more. <laughs> the other thing that they've got is they have a, a fairly substantial like public transport system. It's better than ours. But it's never on time. So this whole concept of, you know, Germans, oh, got to be on the time, get everything done at a time. No, doesn't work. Never does. I, would have thought I feel it like you're about to do an accent to start with, though. No. I feel like you were... You, 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 no, it's not on time! <laughs> <laughs> we all missed the bus! <laughs> <laughs> There's too much of me doing that on YouTube, so I'm... I'm, yeah. I'm... <laughs> right. Cut so, to that. <laughs> yes, that's what we are. We'll go yeah, on about totally. And this ties in with the other thing because their buses are never on time because they're always broken down. <laughs> but anyway, I couldn't find a picture. Of a broken down German bus. So I thought I would just I did the, best, the best substitute, <laughs> a British one. <laughs> 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 That's mm. all I could find. They're very good at hiding the fact that their buses break down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> as we can't, because they break down all the time as well. Yeah, we're not saying we're better. <laughs> we're not saying we're better. We're just saying that like they it. are not as good as they think they are. And it says if she was a bus driver, she wouldn't let you on either. Oh. I wouldn't get on it either. Women drivers. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Moving quickly on. <laughs> There's a delay. I'm scared of this reaction. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. I'm scared. Oh, God. I'm scared. <laughs> Beat him. Beat him. <laughs> in one of the comments. Oh, Beat don't. Him. Don't. Beat him. Beat him. <laughs> uh, John, sorry. Uh, my computer screen's got a bit fuzzy. Could you just read out what the front of that bus says? <laughs> Niched. <laughs> Niched. In Stegen. 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 Niet is Stegen. Okay, okay, yeah, that makes sense now. Perfect, thank you. 
Carry on. <laughs> Can anyone that knows German please uh, confirm that that was right? Because, <laughs> you know, I am brilliant at reading German. <laughs> 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 Nicht I you were. You're brilliant at reading. Nicht ein Steiger. I, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I definitely didn't help. Need help. <laughs> because you didn't do the accent. That, yeah, that was the. <laughs> yeah, the German accent yeah. is where it came Thank out. You, yeah. If you don't say angry, it doesn't work. Yeah, you need to be more angry. Oh, I still didn't do it right, apparently. The first time I went to Germany, on the way home, all I had to do was get the train back to the airport. Showed up 20 minutes early for the train. The train was already 50 minutes late at that point. It was only a 30-minute trip to the airport. And it doesn't help that all the stuff about the train being late is being blurted out in German. So I didn't understand any of it. Completely missed my plane. Had to rebook the plane for the next day, which was horrifically expensive. And still get a train. Still almost missed it. (laughs) So how much does it cost to get back? Uh, really this. Probably about 400 quid. 400 quid? And how much was the flight how meant much is to it normally? Flight? No, your original flight was like 70 or 80 quid or something like that. <laughs> the original flight was like 70 or 80, yeah. Oh, Jesus. And even then you had to get, you, you couldn't even fly back to Birmingham because you had to go to London, wasn't it? I had to go all the way to London. Mm. Uh, so I had to get a train halfway across Germany as well. <laughs> so basically, yeah. what what this video is becoming is this is a reputation of Germany. It's actually shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm getting from this, Jase. I'm oh, sorry if you're German, not, but it's not all shit. It's bad in oh, England too. Don't worry. It's not all shit because they okay. do have good beer. Right now, I'm interested. Oh, there we go. Finally, I can wake up. Yeah. <laughs> now, guys. <laughs> I've got a sp- I've got a warning for the next bit of this side. This oh may be triggering. What I need you to do is not to throw at the mouth, okay? I promise. No having you. a spaz, no throw at the mouth. But it may be Please. triggering to some specific audience members. Are you ready? Just bloody say it, man. Give me beer. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> We're going there on uh, Saturday. Not this Saturday, the next Saturday. Not in Germany. Either. But it's Heidi's bar. It's like a German We're bar. We're going to get drunk, you mean. We are going to right. get that drunk. So, the good news. Oh, back. Oh. Their beer is very good. <laughs> to have a oh. time out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he was obsessed with, it, whether it was the, um, the all beer. the beer or it the was beer. the um, the woman in the top left with all the beer. I, I <laughs> found that picture. I was just like, that face is amazing. But it wasn't fucking Harry Kane, was it? <laughs> what is he doing in there? <laughs> Did it about Joe? It's Harry Kane. <laughs> fucking beer. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> so, anyway, the good news they do have good beer and they have a good selection of beer. And, but that's not hard when our beer in this country is absolutely Shit. like piss water. So, of course, it is good in comparison. The bad news, you can't get it in those one-litre glasses. What? Stones. You can't. I have yet to find a single place where you can get the beer in those big glasses. I went that to three is... different places with stones in Germany. Then you've been going to the places that I've not. <laughs> Against popular belief, they just don't drink beer that much there. I was very upset at the whole thing of, um, uh, you know, it being a Monday and wanting to go to the pub and there's no pubs open and there's nobody out at restaurants drinking or nothing this is right now this is outrageous so fucking disappointed to an english man this is blasphemy i can't believe this what do they say the germans i mean i don't mind i don't think that much (laughs) yeah fucking no 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 No. ignore the angel in the background don't worry about him it's fine (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Fuck say, <laughs> right thanks for watching you guys don't forget to like comment subscribe and touch yourself we're off to the pub now um so if you could please donate a little bit of beer money that'd be great money, please i'm poor he's not poor he's lying <gasps> everyone comment bub, bub, bub. everyone comment ask for john's bank account details no. he asked her for the commenters I haven't got a PayPal. Leave me alone. He has a PayPal. Just comment ten pound PayPal. PayPal. <laughs> Fuck my life. Fuck you. <laughs> right, we'll be back next week. Thanks for watching. See you then. See you at the pub. <laughs>